Almost time to celebrate that annual office holiday party. And while holiday parties can be fun, they can also lead to memories that you would rather forget. <laughs> Mixing alcohol and co workers with year end stress and everything else has the potential to be anything but merry and bright. Joining us now with suggestions on how to have a jolly good time you won't regret is Elizabeth Sapola from Decision Associates. And uh, Elizabeth, good to see you again. Uh, you. Timely topic uh, Is it true? That the majority of Americans actually dread their workplace holiday parties? Believe it or not, yes. According to a 2018 national survey conducted by the office team, only 36%. Actually, like going to their employer's holiday parties, which means there are a lot of people filled with stress and anxiety leading up to this annual tradition. All righty, then why is it that people, you know, would rather skip this? <laughs> well, good question, but when you think about it, right? So these parties, they do often include indulgences of good food, music, and gift exchanges, washed down with some delicious holiday cheer in the form <laughs> of seasonal cocktails. What could be wrong with that? They can well, be well, fun. Yeah. But some see them as annoying or an obligation, and others may stress out about who to talk to, what to talk about. And on top of that, if employees are able to invite a significant other, that can add another dimension of worry into the mix. Sure. Let's start with the topic of uh, who and what to talk about. I'm assuming uh, uh, politics is off the table these days. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Think of those things, all those social rules that you learned as a youngster. Use the party as a chance to talk with people you don't already know. Make it a goal to step out of your comfort zone and speak to at least three new people. Keep your interactions brief and cheery. Avoid gossip or talking about politics and religion. Don't come to the party with a personal agenda to ask about a raise or to express your interest in a promotion. <laughs> ask open-ended questions so the conversation flows smoothly and always remember that people love to talk about themselves. Sure. What advice do you have related to um, imbibing, we'll say, at these parties because that can often create a, a whole host of problems. Yes, I would say know your drinking limit and prepare ahead of time by setting a guideline of no more than one or two drinks. Although more drinks might lo loosen you up and take the edge off of your nerves, it can also lead to making a total fool of yourself. <laughs> so if you realize you've had too much to drink, stop immediately and arrange for a ride home. Avoid lengthy conversations while you're waiting for your ride and drink plenty of water. No matter what, make it to work the next day. And remember, you're a working adult. Nothing is worth being seen in a compromising position due to overindulgence. Uh, yeah, any final thoughts while people uh, digest that thought? Because uh, <laughs> you know too many people are, are saying, boy, I've been there. Yes. Yes, definitely. I think this is a relatable topic for, for many people. Um, as far as my final thoughts, I would say this. I would definitely make sure that you avoid public displays of affection. This isn't the time to make a romantic move on someone from the office. Be mindful of social media. It's a big no-no to post negative comments or photos of coworkers who may have had too much fun. If you share a photo of somebody, get permission from them beforehand. And make sure you remember to say goodbye and thank you to those who organized the party. Last but not least, have fun. Pretend you're at a friend's party and loosen up a bit, but not too much. Remind yourself that this is supposed to be fun and not torture. Let's go back to the good old days. Leave the phones at home, right? Yes, All definitely. Right. <laughs> Elizabeth Sapola of Decision Associates with some sage and timely advice on having fun and attending the office party. Elizabeth, we appreciate it. Thank you. We'll be right back.